Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to add some JavaScript code to our project. Let's get started. We scroll over and get to this application called the HTML tester. We click on it and allow it to load. Yes, it's loaded now, so let's just go ahead and create a new project. Sorry. A new HTML rather. Uh, let's name it JavaScript. There's no point adding JavaScript.html as you are, it would be like you're contradicting yourself. Already it has a .html ending, so you just click OK. Already you have your HTML done for you. You have your head, title, opening title tag and the closing title tag all done for you. So let's just come here and then Let's see, let's see, ja title should be JavaScript, yeah. Then, heading one should be, hello viewers, today, I'll be showing you how to add some JavaScript code to your project. Now here's the project. Let's run it and see what we have. Yes, so yes, this is what we have. It says hello viewers. I'll be showing you how to add JavaScript code to your project. Now for us to zoom this, we have to use our hands to zoom it. Let's just assume the text was too small and we had any reason to zoom into it. See, we have to go through the stress of using our hand to zoom it. So now to make it a lot more easier, like why don't you just go ahead and create a button that will work like this? A button that will just like this. You click and it just it zooms in and magnifies the text. So let's go ahead and add the JavaScript code. Yes. We use our opening button tag. Set your button type to button. Being that it's not a form, we are not going to be using the submit tag. It's not a form, it's just we don't want to call it function. So button type button on click. You set your on click to my function or whatever your function name is, whatever name you want to give your function. Opening and closing bracket. Yeah, let's let's name the button zoom and see. Yeah, let's name the button zoom. I think Zoom will be a good name for the button. Yeah, let's run and see what we have. Meanwhile, please subscribe to this channel. Drop your comment, your question in the comment section below. Yeah, so what we have is just, it's just a, an innocent button there. It can't do nothing. We still have to use our hands to do the zooming. So now, yeah, let's add the JavaScript that is going to make the button zoom. As you can see, the text is still the way it is, except I use my hand to zoom it. The button is just some drop button there, it's not doing anything. So yeah, let's go back and add the JavaScript code for it. So now we put our script declaration. When you put your script declaration, you call the D of our X, our X is your variable X equals the document dot get element. JavaScript is case sensitive, so if you are doing yours you have to do it this way, get element by ID, JavaScript once again is case sensitive. So let's see, we've not called any ID yet, so let's leave it blank. Yeah, we'll go over x.style dot font size equals Let's see you want to let's say you want to zoom it up to sixty pixels, you put your sixty px and your sixty px. Yeah. You call the function. Remember, I need my own function, my function, remember. So you'd have to use my function when you are doing yours. You put your left wavy open bracket, put the last that is the closing wavy bracket. Then remember all open tags must be closed. All open tags must be closed. Remember this. Let's run and see what we have. 
Yeah, it might be like it shouldn't work. Yeah, it shouldn't work. Let's just see what we have already. Still a dumb person doing nothing. We still have to use our hands to zoom it. And our aim is to make sure this button does the zooming itself. Like, we don't want to do any sort of zooming. So let's go back. Now, remember, there is an empty ID here. We've, we've not given it any name. It's called document.getElement by ID. It's blank. So let's name our H1 ID. Should be, uh, it should be demo. Yeah, like it's in demo. Yeah, now that we've named our ID as demo, let's go here and include it below here. Yeah, we've gotten a name, so let's just go ahead and give it. Yeah, let's run and see what we have. Yeah, that is what we wanted. We go back. Remember, opening HTML tag, opening head tag, open title tag, close title tag, close head tag, opening body tag, you name your H1 ID, set it to demo, you put whatever your text is, button type equals button, you set the button type to button, unclick my function, you can give your button whatever name, it won't affect it, let's say magnify, let's use the word magnify and see what happens, yeah, the name doesn't matter at all, it doesn't matter, yeah, the name doesn't matter. It still does what I want it to do. Yeah, so you put your closing button tag, you open your script tag, telling HTML that you want to add a script. Could be PHP, could be any anyone at all. But this time around, you're using JavaScript. So you call your function. When you call your function, remember the name that is set in your onclick, which is my function. That's what I use for mine. You don't have to use it. I repeat your variable X because document does get capital letter E. JavaScript is case sensitive. Just do it this way and you get it right. Document does get element by ID in bracket equals demo X dot star dot font. Look at the S, capital letter S equals 60 px. You can also change it. You don't have, it, you don't have to make it 60 px. You can make it 40 px. You run it. Let's see what we have. magnify it still does what i want it to do and also you might want to ask if you add some emojis whether it's going to also magnify them let's just randomly select some emojis and see what happens still does the same magnification we want yes yeah, so thank you subscribe to my channel if you're having any question you ask it below in the comment box Thank you very much. Please like the video. Thank you. Goodbye.